Welcome back to the SparkFun Inventors Kit for LabVIEW tutorial series. I'm Sam Kristoff from LabVIEW Maker Hub, and in this section, we'll use a piezo buzzer to play some simple notes and a simple melody. I've connected the piezo buzzer to pin 8 on my redboard and the other side to ground. So let's see how we can control this buzzer with LabVIEW. On the LabVIEW Getting Started window, I'll click Help and choose Find Examples. Then I'll click search and type links. The way we'll make the buzzer make music is by sending it a square wave pulse. So we'll use the links digital right square wave VI example. I'll double click it to open it. I'll select the serial port COM3, that's my redboard, and the DO channel that I'm using. In this case, I have it wired up to pin eight. Then we can specify the frequency and the duration of the note. I'll put 440 hertz and a duration of one second, but this will get called over and over again in a loop, so it'll sound like a constant note. Let me hit run. And once LabVIEW establishes a connection to the redboard, you'll hear the note. I'll set it back to zero to disable the tone and click stop. Let's look at the code. I'll press Control E to bring up the block diagram. You can see we establish a connection to the redboard. Then we call the digital right square wave VI and we give it the duration in milliseconds, a frequency in hertz, and the digital output channel as a U8, in this case pin eight. At the end, we close the connection and handle any errors. Let's modify this code to play a simple scale. To do that, I'll jump back to the front panel and add a little room, and we'll create an array of notes or an array of frequencies. To do that, I'll right click and choose Array Matrix from the Controls palette and choose the Silver Array, and I'll place that on my front panel. Notes are specified by their frequency, so I'll drag the frequency control inside the array now I can click the bottom and expand that to get more notes. Now I'll populate the array with our note elements in a C major scale. So we'll start with 261, 293, 329, 349, 392, 440, 493, and I'll add one more, 523. Now I'll switch to the block diagram, and you can see our note array here, which I'll bring just outside the loop. So we want to execute the digital right square wave once for each note. It would make sense to use a for loop for that rather than our while loop. So I'll right click on the while loop and choose replace with for loop. Now I have a for loop instead of a while loop. When I pass in my notes, you'll notice the tunnel turns into an auto indexing tunnel. So each loop iteration, one of the notes will be passed in and I'll connect that note to the frequency input of the digital right square wave. Now this loop will execute once for each note and output a note for a specified amount of time. We wanna make sure we give the notes time to play out. So we'll add a delay to the loop as well. I'll use quick drop by pressing control space and choose wait millisecond. The delay should be the same as the duration of the note, so I'll wire in the millisecond input from our note duration. Now we're ready to run. I'll switch to the front panel, and our duration is still one second, which will be good, and I'll click the run button. Once LabVIEW establishes a connection to the red board, we should hear the C major scale. Once all the notes have been played, the VI stops running because our for loop was auto-indexed on our notes. When there's no more notes, the for loop stops executing and we close the connection to the redboard. So that does it for our introduction to a piezo buzzer, but think about how you could use timing with these notes to play a simple song. And make sure to join us for our next section where we read an analog voltage from a potentiometer. Make sure to check out labviewmakerhub.com for more tutorials and projects. 
and ask any questions you have on the MakerHub forums at labviewmakerhub.com forums.